Okay, kiddos, let's do some mathematics. Mathematics. You can see what I have on the board here. A little game for us, a little matching game to play. What we're going to do is we are going to match the numerals with the dots that match it, okay? So take a look at those. We're going to start with this number here, which is what? 16. All right, so where does 16 show up on the board there? Look around, see if you can find 16. And I'm going to tell you that it matches right here. 16, do you see? 10 and 6, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so there's 16. Now we got... 11. 11. Where is the 11? I think it's right... Oh, I know where it is. It's right here! 11. Okay, 17. Looking for a 10 and a 7. 17. Oh, I got it. Right over here. 17. Okay, now I got 10. Do you guys know where 10 is? Huh, right next to the 17. 10. Okay, now I got 12. There's 12. 12 is right here. I can slide these down now because the next one we're going to find is 20. Where is 20 up here? Right here. 15. 15 is right here. 15. 14. <laughs> this is 14. 19, 10 and 9, 19. Mm, easy. It's this one right here. Now we got 13. Well, this has got to be. Well, look at it. There's 3 here and 3 here. Hmm. But this is 5 and 3, which means this is 18. And this is 13. Okay. Now, have you ever played that matching, that memory game where you turn the pick cards all over and then you gotta, you pick up this one, you pick up that one, and you see if it's a match? Ooh, that is not a match. Now, it is possible to do a search and find these cards with the dots and the, the numbers on them um, online if you look for... Um, Actually, do you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to find it and I'm going to send it to your parents. I'm going to attach it as an attachment so that you guys can have this. You could cut these out and you can make your own matching cards with this. That would be really fun and there's actually a game that you can play. Okay, so let's come down here. We're going to have use a whiteboard here and I'm going to put some chips down. Count the chips with me. One. Two, three, four, oh, let's do four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That looks just like the card that we just did, doesn't it? Now, how can I make twelve? Well, I can definitely use a number bond, right? Okay, so I'm going to put my hole up here, and I'm going to put my parts. <laughs> That's a squeaky. Now, since we're looking at 12 with a group of 10 and some more like this, then one of my parts needs to be 10, right? And then what's the other part? Hard to see on the white and the white, but it is 2. 
and then my hole here is 12. Now, there's two ways I can write that. Uh, the other way, so we have number bond, I can also write a number sentence. Write my part 10, and do a plus sign, plus 2, and I need to do equals 12. 10 plus 2 equals 12. Here I forgot to say this, we have 10 and 2 make 12. That's what the number bond shows, right? Now the other way I can do my number sentence is if I put the whole first, then I have to put the equal sign, and then I can do this part. It doesn't matter which part I put first, right? It's still the same. Ten, 12 equals 2 plus 12. Okay, now let's jump. No, no, no. I've got, sorry, I was ready to go to the, your uh, problem set, but I've got another problem here. Let me get a marker. I'll use this one. Okay. Oh, down on the farm. <laughs> now, we got some ducks and we got some pigs, right? Okay, now my guess is I can see that there's more ducks than there are pigs. And I'm going to, let's count how many ducks there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle like that the ducks that are in the group. Okay, it's a group of 10 and how many more? Three. Now look, here's a number bond for me to do, right? So one of my parts is 10, 10 ducks, and the other part is three, three pigs. 10 and three make, up here I'm gonna write 13. Now, I'm going to write, uh, let's get a little bit closer, you can probably see that a little bit better. Now I'm going to write a number sentence. And how am I going to write that number sentence? Well, I'm going to do my part, 10. Now I have to write a plus sign here, plus 3. And then I'm going to do an equal sign, and my whole is 13. And that's what your um, problem set is for today. Let's jump up and look at that. They're going to give you three stories here. This first one says, Robin sees five apples in a bag and ten apples in a bowl. Draw a picture to show how many apples there are. So, you're going to have to draw a bowl that has ten apples in it and a bag that has five apples in it, and then you've got a number bond to write about that, and your number sentence. Notice that there's no equal sign or plus sign here. So you're going to have to write your equal sign and your plus sign. I think they did that because some people might want to write their whole here and then the equal sign and put the plus here, or some people are going to want to write their whole here and put the equal sign there and have the two parts with the plus sign between them there. Okay? All right, after apples, you got trucks. Sam has 13 toy trucks. Draw and show the trucks as 10 ones and some ones. So you're going to draw trucks here as 10 and then some more. And you're going to do the problem, I mean the number bond and the number sentence. One more on the back. Our class has 16 bags of popcorn. Draw and show the popcorn bags as 10 ones and some ones. And then you got a number bond and a number sentence for you to do for that one. And then you're done with the problem set. Later on today, you're going to do the exit ticket, which is the same thing. Just one more problem about 12 balls. Show the balls as 10 ones and some ones. Number bond and your number sentence. Okay, that's math for today.